This year, nearly 10,000 Missourians won't be able to attend their child's graduation or hold their newborn grandchild or finally be able to retire. They won't see these family milestones because their lives will be claimed by smoking-related diseases, including cancer and heart disease. Almost 10,000 lives cut short, family members and friends devastated. Preventable healthcare costs skyrocketed, all because they didn't learn early on to live healthier lives. Here in Missouri, we want our next generation to live even happier and healthier lives than we do. That means getting a good education and learning healthy lifestyles. And it means making sure our kids never start smoking. Missouri has some of the highest rates of smoking, lung cancer, and heart disease in the country, claiming the lives of nearly 10,000 Missourians every year. Tobacco use accounts for at least 30% of all cancer deaths and 87% of lung cancer deaths. Quite simply, smoking extracts extraordinary human and financial costs on Missouri each year, costing each Missouri household $565 a year in public expenditures. And Missouri faces other challenges. Like most states, Missouri has faced severe budget pressures in recent years. As a result, over the last five years, Missouri's spending on public schools has been flat. And the picture for Missouri's colleges, universities, and community colleges has been worse. In November, you can do something to help address all of these challenges. There's a ballot measure that would improve Missourians' health, provide funding for smoking prevention and cessation, and generate new funds for our public schools, colleges, and universities statewide. It does this by raising the price of tobacco products, which will discourage young people from ever starting to smoke and encourage current users to quit. Currently, Missouri has the lowest tobacco tax of any state in the country at only 17 cents per pack, lower than states like Mississippi and Alabama, and even lower than tobacco-producing states like North Carolina and Virginia. This initiative would generate about 283 million in state revenue per year. 20% of those funds will be dedicated toward tobacco use prevention and smoking cessation. 50% will go to funding local public schools, and 30% will go to public colleges and universities statewide. These new revenues would be set aside in a trust fund to guarantee they are spent on education, tobacco use prevention, and smoking cessation. Not surprisingly, tobacco companies want to defeat this initiative and have already spent over $500,000, with more sure to come. Education advocates and public health organizations like the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network, the Greater Healthcare Foundation of Kansas City, the Missouri School Boards Association, and many others have formed Show Me a Brighter Future, a coalition to support public health and education in Missouri. We have a historic opportunity to reduce smoking, improve public health, and invest in education. But we need your help. Go to www.showmeabrighterfuture.com to join our campaign.